Nearly 36 years ago where I'm standing, a KFC stood. And it was the scene of one of the most notorious mass murders in Texas history. Five people inside were kidnapped, robbed, and their futures chosen for them when they were taken 14.2 miles into Russ County and shot to death. None of the five of them thought they were going to die. They went along like sheep. The case was cold for more than 20 years when two cousins were convicted for killing Mary Tyler, Opie Hughes, Joey Johnson, David Maxwell, and Monty Landers. Hard to imagine somebody taking another person's life and no more than what they got. Monday on KETK News at 10, we began a two-part report revealing details surrounding the mystery, how it was solved, and why investigators believe a third suspect could still be out on the streets. And I sit down with Romeo Pinkerton, one of the men behind bars who claims he was framed. If it had been my fine air, you think you'd be talking to me today? He's just weeks away from a parole hearing, and this is his first ever TV interview. You'll hear from investigators who arrived first on scene to the prosecution who built an ironclad case, and from families whose loved one never came home that night. Three juries have decided this case, and now you can decide. What really happened here?